Picking the best espresso machine can get confusing if you aren't a coffee snob. But don't worry, I'm Ryan the Smart Chopper and I'll be discussing the best espresso machines based on performance, value. As always, the price for each of these espresso machines is down in the description below. Kicking off this list, the DeLonghi La Specialista Prestigio. This fancy looking semi-automatic espresso machine comes in at under $1,000 and includes a built-in grinder, a steam wand for frothing milk. You can also choose from eight different grinds sizes to perfect your ideal shot of espresso, Americano, or if you're a coffee addict like me, a double espresso. It also dispenses hot water for tea. The only drawback with this machine is that there may be a initial learning curve to determine which grind is the right size for your ideal shot, so this may not be the most beginner-friendly machine. Now, I will mention, if you are someone that is looking for a specific type of espresso machine, maybe one that's really good at lattes or really good for beginners, or maybe you're looking one that's really easy to clean, keep watching because we do have a machine for you today. All right, so this next espresso machine is for those of you that really just don't care about price and want to ball out and just want to be the best home barista out there. We have the Delita Mio. Hopefully my Italian accent attempt didn't completely butcher that. Anyways, when you get into high-end espresso machine, there isn't a lot of differences in terms of coffee. For that reason, choosing an espresso machine at this level is more about both aesthetic and functional. The Dilita's design was the smartest of the bunch that we tested. The best difference here is that it uses buttons for all of its functions instead of switches and dials, which not only looks sleeker, but also offers a much better user example. Take the Steam One for example. You can toggle it on and off immediately instead of having to manually open and close the valve. The only thing missing in our books is that it doesn't have a hot water dispenser, but given that it is a very good looking machine that is user friendly and is built really well, it is worth the expense. Now, I can hear what some of you guys are saying. Ryan, that last option's insane, but that price, it's a bit ridiculous. I don't have that sort of money to blow on coffee. Don't worry, I got you. Next up is a budget-friendly option so you can brew on a budget. Our budget-friendly pick is the Waikeko Nano Espresso portable espresso maker. So when you are going to dip down this low in price on an espresso maker, you aren't going to get the same type of shots that you would out of say the Dilita. But if you're willing to use a little bit of that elbow grease, you will get a really good espresso shot and basically give up no counter space. So the way this tiny tool works is by creating pressure through a piston pump. So if you're at home with a scale and a grinder, just fill in the machine with a bunch of ground coffee, tamp it with like the back of a spoon, add your hot water, and then squeeze the button in front of the machine repeatedly. And then all you're gonna do is position your coffee cup below and a stream of espresso will come out of the small home at the bottom of the pill-shaped espresso maker. Less than a hundred bucks, you really can't go wrong here. All right, next up, for those of you that plan to keep your espresso machine out on the kitchen counter all the time and don't want an eyesore, I have the perfect machine for you that will fit into your Instagram-friendly kitchen aesthetic. The Cafe Effetto is a sleek, design-forward, compact model with Wi-Fi connectivity. And compared to some of the other options on this list and out in the market, this machine really doesn't take too much space on your countertop. The water reservoir and hopper are hidden for a sleeker look, and also the milk frother tilts to the side so you can froth easily. Now, the downsides. One, there's no grinder, and it only does a single shot at a time. Also, Will you be able to make the best shot of espresso? No, so you do give up some functionality for those good looks, but if you are somebody that really values aesthetics a lot more than functionality, this is a great option. So here's the point of the video where everyone that lives in a apartment or a small space starts pointing out, hey, where's the best compact espresso machine? Did you really think I would make a video without showing you guys the best small espresso machine? Come on, I wouldn't do that to you. We're talking about the Breville Bambino Plus. The Breville Bambino Plus is the perfect compact hands-on machine for those of you that crave that traditional espresso making experience without the massive giant footprint that most machines take. So one of the cool things about this machine is that it does come with a lot, including two dual wall filter baskets for pre-ground coffee beans, a trimming tool, a tamper, and a milk jug that's to be used with the attached steam wand so you can froth your own milk. You can also choose between single, double espressos, plus steamy, frothy, or very frothy milk. However, like the last machine, this one doesn't come with a grinder, but again, if you get your beans pre-ground, it should be fine. And those are my top five espresso machines. If I made your buying decision easier, please consider subscribing and liking this video.